don't adjust those screens. There's nothing wrong with your mobile device. And I promise you, you are actually listening to the right podcast network. I'm Caitlin, AKA Catrin Figures from the Catrin Figures and Comic Core YouTube channels. And today I have taken over the Simple Men Comics Friend and Friends podcast today. And I flipped it upside down because instead of the boys bringing you various members of the comic book community and you learning about them, their channels and such. I'm instead, uh, I'm going to be chatting with my, with my good friends, Brian and uh, Jack, and I'm going to be telling you about them. We're going to see what they're up to, and I'm going to be putting them in the hot seat for a change. So uh, once again, uh, I'm Katrin Figures, and this is Simple Men's Comics and Friends. So guys, what have we been up to today? Uh, I know there's a lot that's currently going on right now on Simple Men's. So, uh, you know, there's there's that big elephant kind of like lingering around in the room. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the new possible comic, but uh, there's a variant that you guys just dropped this week that everybody's really excited about, including myself. So uh, let's, let's talk about that. What was the process in getting that brought about? Yes, so before we get into that, I want to take the time to thank Caitlin for being on our podcast, taking over the podcast at that. We couldn't yes. think of a better person to do so. So we are more than happy to have her on, not just talk about her, but have her ask us those questions. And you ask about that variant program we just kicked off. We are super excited about that. So Boom Studios has a new release that's coming out. Tom Taylor, you might know him from other big two titles, such as The Deceased, such as Suicide Squad, such as some X-23 titles, but we got that first creator-owned coming out of Boom Studios with Seven Secrets number one. We just announced that variant for it. It's by Jung Yun Yoon. Fantastic cover. It's available now on simplemanscomics.com, as well as our channel partner, the 616 Comics, but we'll get more into them in just a little bit. Yeah, it's been really great partnering with our new partners, John and Erica, um, at the 616comics.com. Uh, that partnership kind of came together through this YouTube channel, which is one of those things, and I, I know, Caitlin, I know you've experienced this yourself, but how great this YouTube comic community is, you just really never know who you're going to meet. So John was actually like a, a longtime viewer. Um, we would communicate over Twitter, uh, you know, direct message type thing, and um you know, kind of sparked a mutual respect and friendship. And then, you know, we've had a lot of people approach us about partnerships or business arrangements, um, specifically over the last year, for sure. And definitely since our kind of independence leaving comicbookinvest.com. And, you know, it's never seemed right because Brian and I, we've got a certain personality, a certain way of doing things. We really needed to find partners who we were going to mesh with and kind of have that same sort of gelled relationship that Brian and I have. Um, and that's not easy. And John and Erica, I'm, I'm really impressed and astonished by how well everything has worked, how, how we fit together and how excited that we all are for the future. Um, I, we really hope to help grow both of these brands together. It, Simple Mids Comics, we love to come on the YouTube channel, we love to talk about comics, but it's always kind of been a dream of ours to be involved in the process and involved in the industry as well. And getting to create these variants and getting to play art designer, um, that it's something really unique to comics. I mean, you can love football, but you're never going to get a chance to decide who gets to play on the field of your favorite football team. But we get a unique opportunity to decide the characters on the covers of our favorite comic books, the artists that are associated with those books. That's uh, really a privilege that I don't take lightly. And it's something that we really wanted to do, but we want to do the right way. Um, and we wanted to make sure that we were keeping the same integrity and the same community-based, um, you know, morals of our YouTube channel and bring those into what can be a wild, wild west world of variant production. So, you know, we're excited. Uh, Brian mentioned the book, Seven Secrets. It's, like he said, it's on sale right now, simplemanscomics.com and the 616comics.com. It's a pre-sale, $24.99. 500 virgin copies. Um, if there's damages or anything like that, we're not cutting the print run down to, uh, you know, to, to try to account for that. We're just telling you what we're printing. There's 500 copies. Um, and so if there's some damages, we could end up with a smaller print run. But right now that's where we're at. Uh, and we're going to be, again, this is a book that's going to be a big book and talked about. So we wanted to get involved with it and we're happy to partner 
with the 616 as well as with Boom Studios. Yeah, so I'll also add to that, like, if you're a fan of Once in Future, if you're a fan of Something's Killing the Children, which we've talked about a lot on this channel, this is one that you'll like as well. We were privileged enough to read the first two issues in PDF format. Can't say enough good things about that. And one more thing, Jack mentioned how John's a longtime viewer, longtime viewer of the channel, longtime member of the community. He's also a longtime Patreon member as well. Absolutely. And we definitely appreciate that, uh, you know, that support. And we've got a lot of fun things planned. I wish I could tell everything, right? But I'll say that we're going to be working right. with a little... Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> that, that's the funny thing is I'm, I'm the spoil everything guy. I want to tell, tell you... I'm, I'm the devil on your shoulder. Sorry to cut you off, but I'm the devil on your shoulder. Like, push the red button. Just do it. Right, right. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it, there's so much fun stuff going on. Um, so we're going to... I'll say this. We're going to be working with a variety of publishers. Um, we're already in the process of working with, uh, you know, the, you know, Boom Studios, but also Mad Cave Studios, um, as well as Image Comics and IDW Comics. And we're beginning the process with Dynamite Comics. Um, and we're going to be working on some big two projects as well coming end of the year, beginning of the following year. So we've got a lot of fun stuff. I think the one teaser that I will say is you, at the principles that you have seen us talk about on Simpleman's Comics YouTube channel, you're going to see in our variant covers. So we want to support books that we have talked about on the channel. So properties, um, nostalgia properties, those 80s and 90s nostalgia properties that you've seen us talk about a lot on the channel, you're going to see those reflected in variant covers, as well as our love for independent comics and our, our love for up and coming artists and a diverse array of artists. We're going to, on another spoiler, I'll give you, we're going to be working with a lot of female artists. That's something that is, was really important to us. We see a, a female artist movement going on right now. And we want to try to find new artists that we can spotlight who we think are kind of like that next, similar to what Peach Momoko has got going on right now, that next Peach Momoko. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, that's just, that's so cool to think that you're going to be involved with all that. I, I know I've seen quite a bit with your boom and everything that's that's just that's awesome dude I, I do want to say that <laughs> we had an idea of what that area of the business takes right with the retail we've we've, <laughs> we've 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 had some help with producing some variants before but when you start doing the projects on your own i, I think it's part of the fun but also some of the i don't want to say stress because stress isn't the right word but it's involved so you have it's to a, yeah it's you have to have good process. communication um, but it's, it's also been, I always say, enjoy the journey and own the results, right? But it's been a fun journey at the same time. But yeah, it's been a lot of communication with our partners, with publishers, with artists. Um, we're enjoying it and we're, 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 happy, we're excited to see where it might take us. All right, guys. So besides just producing your own variants, uh, I believe you guys just started your own website. So uh, can, we, can we talk about that a little bit? And yeah, absolutely. So we often on the channel, we talk about, we have our channel sponsor, Frankie's Comics, and some other channel partners that produce exclusives. But not only that, there's a lot of other retailers out there that are creating exclusive brands. And you might see it on Instagram, but a lot of times you'll see people after the fact going, hey, I wasn't aware of this cover. I didn't know who created that. I didn't know who that artist was. We found it would be beneficial. We created exclusivevariants.com to have one website that showcases all these retail exclusives in one centralized location. So you can see it by whatever retailer, whatever artist, all that's out there, all that we're available that we can find right now, we're putting up on exclusivevariants.com, whether uh, unknown, uh, big time collectibles. Uh, th there's a bunch of them out there. We have a whole bunch of different retailers by publisher, by artist. It's just, like I said, it's a website that showcases retail advance because I think retail advance are becoming a big niche in the hobby. We've talked about it a lot on this channel, but we also have the images up there. We, we name the print runs that we can find that are available. We name the price. And if it's available for more than one retailer, we usually try to put that in there as well. Yeah, so like Brian said, like we really wanted to be a resource for the comic collecting community. Um, and like kind of to give you, Kaylin, the origin story of it, um, you know, we kind of mentioned earlier about like our, uh, we talked about our, variant production well in the process of that our partner had assigned me a task 
and he assigned me uh, the task of trying to like reach out to websites to try to get them to talk about our band. But having come from a comic collecting website in the past, I kind of have some experience with the way they view exclusive variants. And on top of that, we had recently had an experience where our channel sponsor, Frankie's Comics, had a comic that had become extremely successful, Star Wars Adventures, Peach Momoko, Yoda variant. Um, it was selling for multiple hundreds of dollars, still is. And the websites were reporting it, but they refused to name the store. And I know intimately how hard the work is that goes into creating a variant of any sort of quality. And I felt bad for our sponsor that he had created this collectible that was so successful, so so penetrating in the secondary market that so many people were loving, but that, you know, it wasn't getting name recognition. It didn't get name recognition from the website that we used to write for. It didn't get name recognition from the key collector app. Um, and then their YouTube top 10 show. So it was, it was kind of a problem. And, you know, it was one of those things where I realized that since they don't feel comfortable covering that area of the market, somebody needs to, because as Brian said, it's an area of the market that collectors have deemed worthy, whether or not speculators or investors like it, collectors are looking for these unique cover art, these unique collectibles for the, the books that they like. And it's giving a lot of artists a lot of work. And on top of it, it's, it's kind of vital to the sales of the hobby. Because if you look at the amount of store exclusives that are sold throughout comic publishing, it makes a major difference on the overall sales. Um, so it's, it's really doing a lot of positives in the hobby. And a lot of the negatives were from the early days when there was a lot of funny business that goes on. And there's still some funny business that goes on, but there's nobody reporting on it. So who's going to police it if nobody's reporting on it? So I, I really had this night, and I, I'll tell you, Caitlin, comics will keep me up at night. And I had this night where I was laying in bed and I just was really frustrated and I couldn't figure it out. And then it hit me. Like, what if there was a website that only talked about that? And uh, I thought about, I come from the sneaker industry, the website hypebeast.com, which they will regularly talk about exclusive sneakers coming out in this store in Miami or this store in California. And those sneakers are the most desired sneakers in the industry because of the exclusivity of them. But in comics, we almost look down on these exclusive items. And I think that that's just a perception thing. So we wanted to really show off these unique organic artisan kind of collectibles that are created between the artist and the retailer and the publisher as kind of like this collaborative thing. And at the same point, as Brian mentioned, we, we saw this kind of hole in the hobby where a lot of people weren't getting the information. So they were upset because they were missing sale dates and books were selling out and Nobody was telling them where they were. And they, you know, the, the publishers, they're doing the best they can. The, the retailers, they're advertising through typical advertising channels. But, you know, you don't have an unlimited advertising budget and you can only do what you can do. And people are still not going to see that information. So we wanted to create kind of like a third party resource. And Brian named some of the features, but we've also, as we go, we're going to develop some more. So like I mentioned, like we've got an experience in website publishing with in the comics industry. We're going to, we're adding features. Like we've got a great, top five artist lists that'll go up monthly that actually our very first top five artist list. We had the very artists on the list, reach out to us uh, in appreciation. And that's kind of the thing that we want to do is, and it's not our personal kind of like picks of our favorite artists. It's we're trying to highlight the artists who are doing work on exclusive variants that are getting the most attention. Um, and then we also covered back issues in, in exclusive variants, which is another thing that oftentimes people will talk about the book, but they won't mention where it comes from. And not only did we mention like when the Miles Morales Secret Wars variant was spiking from Heroes Not Hard to Find, not only did we mention where you could find it, we gave you a link to the sale of the book, which was going cheaper than the current eBay value. So we're trying to help out everybody. Um, and we also covered all the unique places that exclusive variants come from. So including other YouTube channels, like we talked about the Comic Tom 101 Mystery Mail Call. Um, we want to really cover every basis. Uh, and in doing that, we will have also created a platform for ourselves to be able to talk about our variants. And now I, I kind of feel like some of the best business ideas are ones where you, there's, you have a need for something and it doesn't exist. So you then create it. <coughs> Excuse me. And I also wanted to say like, we'll put, if you have an exclusive variant, 
we have a platform to showcase it for you. Just we need to be told about it because right now we're going out searching, putting up the information right. we find. If you have an exclusive rant and you want the free advertising and that showing up on that site, just email us at support at exclusive rants.com. Give us information. We'll gladly put it up there for you. Yeah. And on top of like getting your book out there and, you know, letting people know about the print run and the sale date and getting them that link, we'll do that for free. Absolutely. But I also want to let retailers know if you'd like to advertise on the site, we have banner ads available the same email support at exclusive variants.com. Um, we have, we can talk about banner video ads, those types of things that are available to you. Guys, that's awesome. Uh, personally, I feel like this is definitely a website that a lot of collectors, myself included, are going to be using the heck out of because I know how irritating it is to see on Instagram or on eBay like weeks later that something is just like a $200 book when I could have gotten it for $20 on a cons website or at this website or here or there, you know, and it's, it's, it's definitely frustrating to have to try to catch those after the fact. So to be able to get them when they're coming out or even like to know in advance, fantastic job guys. Very. I will say also not, not just the website, but make sure you also follow an exclusive rants on Instagram and Twitter, because there's some stuff that we get the information ahead of time. We put it up there before we can actually get the article created on the website as well. All right. So now that we have talked about the two projects that they are currently in co-op and partnership with between Simpleman's Comics and the 616 Comics, I think it's time that we uh, slide the boys out into timeout. I'm going to put Jack and Brian into the corner and I'm going to bring on some very special guests. The owners of 616 Six Comics and the 616comics.com, John Leon and Erica Gonzalez. Hi, guys. Uh, please go right ahead and introduce yourselves. Maybe a little bio for those, those of you at home watching and listening. Sure. A little bio. I'm John. This is my wife, Erica. And uh, I've been a comic book uh, fanatic for decades. And I fell out for a little bit, uh, as a lot of us do once we grow up. Uh, and get into college and into the workplace and stuff like that. And uh, my brother played a huge part in bringing me back into comics a few years ago. And I dove all the way back in. And when I say all the way, I mean all the way back in. And uh, started watching Simple Man's comics. And that's how I found out about those guys. And uh, Erica helps me out tremendously with oh, the business. Yeah. And yeah, so I don't come from a comic book background, so I have a different lens on the business in general, but I've come to really love it, obviously being married to John. And so I'm coming from it with just my business, my marketing and PR background, which is what um, I have a degree in. And I have my own business separate from this as well. So I bring basically just my business and work ethic into the mix and I pick up some comic book info and knowledge mm -hmm. along the way right that's awesome all right guys so uh since you've recently formed this partnership with simple men's and it's got several projects and all that craziness how exactly uh did this whole partnership really start i mean you know like i don't like to say like who who asked who out first, <laughs> but as, as far as the whole partnership went into being, can you right. tell me a little bit about that? Sure, sure. So I was a, a huge, huge fan of Brian and Jack and Simple Man's Comics, and uh, so much of a fan that I, once I discovered them, I went back and watched all the old videos. I probably watched just about every video that Brian uh, put out, and, and then when he, you know, him and Jack started putting out videos, so... Um, I became a pa Patreon member at some point, which I highly recommend, by the way. If you're not a Patreon member, I would highly recommend oh, becoming yeah. a Patreon member Definitely. of Simple Man's Comics. And so I was just a fan for a year, maybe. I'm not sure exactly the time frame, but um, I needed some advice on my tiny little baby comic book <laughs> business. So I DM'd Brian, and I'm like, this dude's not going to respond. Like, he probably gets 100, 200 DMs a day. Yeah. He responded, like, immediately. And I said, hey... Um, is there any way I could pay you for your time? I, I just love to you know, chat with you for a half hour, Zoom call, whatever. And uh, super nice, super professional, got right back to me and uh, 
So the first Zoom, I think we set up was for a half hour and ended up being probably for an hour or more. He refused money. <laughs> uh, so I told Very him I'd nice. buy him a drink or some food uh, when, when we eventually meet up. And uh, didn't really think anything of it right then and there because it, it wasn't really even a thing yet. So reached out again to ask for some more. My business started advancing and growing and I wanted some expert um, you know, knowledge and opinions. And I really respected Brian's um, knowledge base and opinions uh, in the industry in general. Asked for another call. He was gracious enough to give another call. And after that, uh, I talked to Eric and I'm like, I really like this dude. Like, I think, I think something could, could happen here. I wonder if there's a chance we could partner with them. And so we discussed it and then we just like advanced fair, the discussion. For yeah, go yeah. for it. And, uh, and then Jack was brought in and we wanted to make sure everybody was comfortable and we just discussed a lot of stuff. And once the three of us and then the four of us uh, started talking together, we realized um, we had something pretty unique and pretty special. Yeah. And we have really uh, put the pedal to the metal the last couple of months. It's pretty crazy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of how it all came to be. Um, just very organic, very organic. Not, uh, I don't think any of us went into this with an agenda or uh, on purpose. It just kind of happened, yeah. which the best partnerships happen that way, I feel like. That's awesome, guys. And honestly, these two, they're some of the best, 100%. That's oh, yeah. just from my experience, nothing but positive things to say about both Brian and Jack. They're just fantastic guys to work with, just in and outside of the comic book community. But uh, just a little bit more, uh, what are some of your goals for this partnership moving forward? I mean, I know you probably can't tell me a lot of what you guys are talking about behind the scenes, but uh, are there any little like little things maybe you can hit towards in the future? I know the guys weren't willing to give it out, but um, yeah, I've, I've locked them both away. They can't see this right now. <laughs> All right, so I mean, what I will say is we are exploring projects that are expansive. We're not, I mean, we, we have, uh, you know, smaller projects and then we have bigger projects, right? So uh, we're exploring options with different publishing houses. Um, we're making some really good contacts and connections with uh, creators and artists and also with publishers. And we're having a blast. That's, that's our main goal with this. Um, you know, we told Brian and Jack early on, um, you know, we, we'd love to make money, but if we don't make a penny at this, we're having a blast and that's the goal. Um, so, you know, our, our goal is to really create valuable, like curated, unique collectibles mm -hmm. for comic book fans just like us. Like the joy of comic books is what drives us on our end, um, more so than anything else. So we want to communicate that joy to other people and give them something unique and special. Maybe some looks that they haven't seen before. We feel like we can bring a really valuable perspective with our team philosophy. Um, did you want to talk about that, like the team Oh the yeah, aspect of it. Yeah, I feel I mean, like I that's think, huge. I feel like the, the biggest strength we have is the team itself. So all yeah. the members of the team working. And I feel like we all have our own separate sets of strengths. I feel like any, like almost like a good sports team, we all play our positions very well. And we allow each other to play in those positions and we defer to each other when needed. There's give and take around the board. And I feel like that really makes us a winning team, not just a team, but a winning and successful team at that. Right. And nobody like to bounce off of what you said. Um, sometimes, you know, you can work in a team or a group of people and sometimes people get like butt hurt or they get a Google lip about, you know, maybe your idea got shot down or we went in a different direction. And I feel like when we have honest discussion with each other inside the team, everybody values everyone else's opinion so highly that even if like I don't get my way with an idea or a concept right. or a direction with we're going, I feel like the value that's brought to the table with the group wisdom and the group knowledge, uh, I feel like I can just put down my own desires for a certain project and still feel like we're gonna come out with something spectacular at the end of the day. Absolutely. Because I trust the other team members so much that like if Jack has a better idea than me, which is frequently the case, right? <laughs> Uh, Jack just hits absolute grand slams with some of his concept Jack ideas. Jack changes our minds on stuff yeah. easily. And we're not ones to necessarily in our other parts of our lives right. easily change minds. No. And 
I mean, we're very flexible, but when we hear the logic, we're we're like, oh, that makes total sense, right. and we go right in on on what other members of the team say is a good idea. So, yeah, I definitely think that we we mesh well, and that's key. Yeah, and you know, as far as projects coming up, um, I can tell you there's a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know if I can tell you what they are, but there's a lot of them, and boy, do we have some good creators on board. You're like, working. We're working. <laughs> We're cranking it out. Like we're we're really dedicating a lot of time and energy to this. So, uh, you know, we're really excited to show everybody what's coming. I feel like our work, at least for you, and I know on my end, is the stuff I have going on. I mean, when we do things in business, we are our business. Right. So I feel like, in the best way possible, this is our main portion of our life, so to speak. Our families involved. Right. We, I mean, this is this is our our whole life and we love it that much that we allow it to be. Absolutely, yeah, it's really taken over our lives and it's changed a lot of things in a very short period of time. And in a positive way. Absolutely, absolutely in a positive way. Like I feel like Brian and Jack are our family now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's wonderful. When you, when you can go into business with people and have that be the outcome, um, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. It's definitely rare, we're lucky. We feel very lucky. Right. Honestly, guys, that is spectacular. And I know I, for one, am very excited to see what your shop has coming up, uh, especially some of the expensive things you were talking about. I'm not going to lie. Uh, really, really excited about that. And uh, I know some of the things that have kind of started to come out look really, really cool. But uh, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. So I did want to thank you guys for coming on and answering a couple questions as far as what's going on with uh, 616 and Simple Men's Comics the whole team up. So once again, guys, Erica, John, thank you, my dears. Uh, <laughs> bye, guys. But right. I am going to bring the boys back on here. All right, so uh, guys, now I know we've talked a lot about some exclusive variants. We've talked about a new website. We've talked about some new partnerships going on in the works for Simple Men's Comics and, and podcasts and everything. But let's let's go on into uh, some of the convention world and what we got going on there. So mainframe comic con uh so you guys have actually teamed up with us for uh the heroes initiative and the comic core and uh chuckload of comics for mainframe comic con so let's let's talk a little bit about what you guys expect from the con what are some of the guests that you're hoping will attend or who will be attending uh let's let's go into that shall we sure sure so we all know this comic convention season has not been a normal one. Everything has been tending to go to virtual. So August 15th and 16th, there's going to be mainframe Comic Con. It's going to be a virtual Comic Con. It's going to be set up almost like as if you were at a physical con. There's going to be multiple halls. There's going to be multiple panels. There's going to be Artist Alley. There's going to be some celebrity guests. We're super thrilled to be participating especially with those comic related guests we all love comics there's also going to be a lot of indie comic creators which is something we're really excited about and there's going to be some great creators that people will know by name as well right jack yeah for sure now you're going to see some familiar names that you've already seen from the simplements comics youtube channel showing up at mainframe comic con absolutely there's no doubt people like david gore and drew zucker the creators of canto as well as Frank Gogol from Source Point Press's No Heroin, as well as Dead End Kids. But that's not all. We've got some people who are going to be new to coming to Simple Men's Comics YouTube channel. We don't yet know who we will be specifically interviewing, but as Brian said, we will be uh, working with a lot of the comics guests. And we've got some real A-list people put together for Mainframe Comic Con, all in support of the Hero Initiative. And we're talking about Al Ewing, one of the hottest writers out there right now has been announced of Mortal Hulk in the upcoming We Only Find Them When They're Dead from Boom Studios, as well as Donnie Cates, uh, cover art uh, Kingpin himself, Jock, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles creator Kevin Eastman, which I cannot be more excited about, but also the current writer and artist of the TMNT series, Sophie Campbell, who is the person who created Jenica, as well as all these great new characters that we're seeing 
in the book post issue number 100. Um, we've got co cover artist David Nakayama. Uh, you mentioned indie comics, one of the kings of indie horror. I know that uh, Kaylin, you're a big horror fan. Colin Bunn <laughs> is going to be in the building. So um, as you can see, and that's just to name a few, we've got a lot of other great things. Um, there's going to be an exclusive variants.com panel, panel where we're going to be talking about the production of exclusive variants and bring on some really awesome cover artists who are going to talk about putting that work together, one of which being John Boy Myers. Um, but there's going to be a lot of great guests. We have tons more to announce. I would implore anyone out there who is missing convention season um, to be following the Mainframe Comic Con Instagram, as well as the Twitter, as well as MainframeComicCon.com for more guest announcements. Now, Brian also mentioned celebrity guests. You're going to get some celebrity guests as well as we've already got Robert Wool from the 89 Batman movie, as well as Arliss Michaels himself, uh, Dan Fogler from The Walking Dead, as well as the star of Fanboys, Lisa Emery, who you may know from Jessica Jones, but I know her from Ozark. I'm a big Ozark fan. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're, a lot of some more celebrity guests will be announced. So it, it's going to give you the feeling of a, of a convention. I think we're all missing that. And Brian and I, you know, we didn't want to just come and like host some stuff. We wanted to really get involved. So when this was presented to us, that was our whole thing is it was, well, we'll do it, but we want to, we want to have a hand in it. We want to work hand in hand on, on it. And, um, uh, you know, I've, there's so many moving parts and these things are so difficult, but really, I think everybody is trying to really give the viewer something that we're all missing because I think comic conventions are so important to the lifeblood of the hobby, not just in how, you know, people make money, but also in how we communicate with each other, how we get to see each other, how we stay up to date on information. And uh, I'm glad to see so many people doing so much. And I hope that we can all do our little part. So I would really invite Everybody in the Simple Men's Comics community, whether you listen to us on the podcast network, whether you watch us here on YouTube, whether you're more of a social media person, um, to come check us out on Mainframe Comic Con. And not just us, but our partner channels, The Comic Core, um, Chuck Loda Comics, who are all going to be putting out some amazing content. And not only can you find that content on our individual YouTube channels, as Brian mentioned, it's all going to be on Mainframe Comic Con. You can go there and you can navigate all the various different halls all the various different interviews going on and you can kind of follow the schedule and kind of pick and choose what it is that you want to be involved in. Yeah. I also want to throw in their name. If you guys follow, you might be aware of that podcast word bubble, but we're going to have John Suntress doing oh, these yeah. panels with this as well. Right. Yeah, absolute OG in the game. Um, he, it's been a pleasure to work with him. He is a, a real legend in the interviewing game. So I think if you're not familiar with him, I would implore you, um, long time podcast producer just getting into the youtube game and i think somebody that really has had weight in the hobby for a long time um and is, is going to be a major get to have here sitting down doing some interviews i think you're going to get some unique perspectives coming out of those interviews yeah so make sure you're following mainframe comic con instagram facebook also he mentioned mainframe comic con.com once you're there, you can sign up for the newsletter. That way you also get all that information right into your inbox. So you can see what's coming up, when that schedule gets finalized, find your favorite panel. Like I said, there's going to be set up like a real con where there's going to be virtual rooms, virtual halls. So there are going to be panels going on at the same time. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. It's going to be a hell of a time. It's going to be a long weekend for us, but yes. I'm more than excited to put in the work. Absolutely. Comics Marathon, two-day comics marathon. I'm trying to bring to you all of that information, all of that comic convention goodness we missed all summer. All right, so I, I think I've held on to the reins a little, a little long. I'm gonna actually hand it back over to the guys since it is their channel. And, you know, I, I don't wanna get on there on too much of their bad side. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna let them out of the box and, you know, let's, let's go guys, what's, what else? <laughs> can, can, I have, can I have this back now? Can yes. I have this back? But right, right now you can. <laughs> no, really, I do want to take the time again to say thanks for Caitlin at Cat Room Figures. Make sure you guys check out her YouTube channel. I enjoyed this. It was our, our way of being able to have a great conversation with a fantastic host, by the way. We talked about our first exclusive variant on that Seven Secrets, that Jung Young Yoon variant. Make sure you guys check that out at simplemanscomics.com, as well as our channel partners that you met on here, the 616comics.com. We have links in the description to that. But... More importantly, I know I've said it before and said it a bunch of times, huge fans, huge friends, Comic Core especially, 
Caitlin at Catrin Figures. So again, Caitlin, thanks for taking the time to host this panel for us. But that's not all, right, Jack? No, no, not at all. And you know what? I have to say, little spoiler alert, Caitlin is definitely my favorite member of the Comic Corps. So thank you very much for, <laughs> thank you. for joining <laughs> us. So a little dig in there on the boys, but you know. Um, so now usually what we would do is we would bring you know, the guests in and we would kind of let them promote themselves. But I think Brian and I have done plenty of self-promotion tonight. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and let the host, Cat Ran Figures, Caitlin herself, uh, do a little self-promotion. Let everybody know in the Simplements Comics YouTube community where they can find you and all the various projects you've got going on. All right. So like I've said before, I am the host of Cat Ran Figures, a YouTube channel here on uh, you know, YouTube. That's kind of awkward. But you know, I'm, I'm all about the awkward. Uh, so I'm also a host on Cinema Figures. Uh, it was a channel that I started late last, I started sometime last year and I kind of fell off of it. I have not fallen out of love with Cinema Figures. It is not the unwanted stepchild of Catherine Figures. It's kind of just kind of fallen into its own thing. So we're actually doing a relaunch of it uh, pretty soon. We're going to have a bunch of things going into that, including the uh, Inflatable Sharks film that I've been talking about for some time. So uh, if you aren't familiar with my taste in movies, you know, I really like bad movies. I like really cheaply done films where you can tell that there was a lot of heart and not a lot of budget going into it. So Inflatable Sharks 100% is uh, a, a, a baby out of that, honestly. It's it started out as a joke and now we've gone into casting some of the people for it and a lot of the setup with like what are we going to do with this scene and this kind of special effect so that's that's something that's really been uh a, like a love project 100 percent uh other things we've got going on on cat run figures uh I've currently been doing MFK, which is Mary Fuck Kill. Not, not really sure if I can curse on here, but uh, it's basically a game show where I bring another person on with me. And it can be a drinking game where you can punish someone or, you know, it can just be like a straight laced fun game between two friends. But it's basically just a game of, hey, there's three random comic book characters on here, like the one card that's kind of become famous uh, with the comic core was uh, Colossus, Cyclops, and Cable. <laughs> And the running joke is when I got to Colossus, I said, I would for days. <laughs> it, it became a t-shirt on the Comic Core. But um, uh, we've been doing a lot of other things like the Choose Your Own Adventure game show with uh, a lot of my Friday night crew. Uh, we're going to be bringing on a couple other people for that as well. Uh, we did like uh, the Choose Your Own Adventure with yetis and we had the one with dragons where dragons didn't actually go on so basically we're going through these very iconic and just honestly like really beloved uh 1980s 1990s choose your own adventure books and going through and deciding like hey you know we'd go this way or we'd go that way one time we became yeti gods and that was kind of awesome but it's it's very much uh, playing with everyone that's going to be in that's in the panel as well as the chat. Everyone just kind of voting. So we we get do overs. If, you know, we got a couple bad endings here or there. So it's it's been a lot of fun, honestly. And uh, I've I've just been taking time to have way more fun and interact with a lot of my friends throughout the community on my various channels. And it's something that I'd really like to continue doing. And since I have both of you on here, uh, I would like to invite both of you to come on either MFK or choose your own adventure if either one of you are so inclined. Oh, you can count me in, I'm, I'm whatever you need. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna MFK my adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely. That's something we'd both love. Either we're yeah. both on there at the same time or one at a time. 
dude. Gotta be careful how I'm phrasing this with the topics <laughs> that we're discussing. But either way, we're there. <laughs> but also, we will put links to Catlin figures and Comic Course channels in the description of this video. I'll also put a card up on there right now, so you guys go check out Catlin's channel. Make sure you guys check it out. Subscribe her up. She's got some great content on there. And once again, we want to thank you for being on the channel. You mentioned one key word within there and you're talking about community and this is what this whole show is about that's why we're glad to have here on here staple of the comic book community that's why we love cat run figures that's why we love the people at comic core we talk about them a lot excited to work with them again in mainframe comic-con but with that being said if you guys aren't aware this full podcast is available in the audio version wherever those audio podcasts are found we're talking itunes google play stitcher spotify all the other names are coming out with nowadays we are there this has been Brian Jack with Superman's Comics and Friends. We'll see you guys in the next video.